Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel. Today we're talking about SFML, which is based on OpenGL, a 3D programming API. And SFML is mainly made for 2D and stuff. And uh, it's going to help us make a window and make a bunch of stuff in that window and make games and all kinds of stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to set it up for this first video and start off our series in this in this. Uh, this visual kind of programming style. So what you want to do is you want to go to sfmldev.org, just like it's here, or written here, and go into uh, download sfml242 or whatever version there is. And here is a bit interesting because you might have a 64-bit Windows or 32-bit Windows, but this is uh, for which one you want to develop for. So I'd say go with the 32-bit for the compatibility reasons. So uh, the one I'm going to choose is Visual C++ this 2015 version and I already downloaded it uh, so I have it in my I had it on desktop and I un what do you call it uh, I extracted it to a place suitable for me in another hard drive for example anywhere you can uh, you can access it and you know where it is uh, this min GW is for uh, code blocks and stuff so just so you know that if you're using that and uh, the the way you link it is going to be similar now I know all of you don't know what linking is and stuff like that, so I'm going to try to explain it as well as I can. Uh, but just go ahead and download this. So think of this as you downloading a packet of books from the interwebs. Okay, it's a bunch of books. Someone else has written. Someone else has done this, so you can control the graphics card and stuff in your computer using these functions in these books. Okay, all this data in these books. So someone has done all the hard work for you, and you go ahead and download that. We're going to go to Learn Tutorials and SFML and Visual Studio. Here you have a way to set up and include and, and dynamically link stuff and statically link. Now dynamically linking means that if you send your game to someone you can send all these these special files called DLLs, right? Dynamically linked libraries. Uh, and send it with the game so that person doesn't have to download SFML on their computer. So they have everything already with the game. But it makes the game bigger, right? Static linking means that you kind of need to have it downloaded on your computer but your game can you can just send the game you don't have to send all these DLLs with it so just so you know you can read about that here uh, I'm gonna use this later to cheat but this is basically the thing we're gonna get a window and a green circle shape I'm gonna go through all this later uh, this is just for setting stuff up so go ahead and go here after you downloaded your file extract it somewhere I extracted it to SFML here in E now, uh, open that file. You'll see you have include, lib, and bin. These three are important. These are the DLLs you're going to need. And uh, include and lib, we're going to use the link. So these are the, basically, that th those books I was talking about. We're going to shove them into our project so we can use those things. Now, I'm going to open my Visual Studio 2015. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and make a new project. And call it just SFML setup. And console application, mind you, go ahead and do a uh, empty project. Remove that. For some reason, I always do it. Just go ahead and do that. And create that in desktop or wherever you want to keep it. Pro preferably somewhere else, not on the desktop. This is just so I can access it later. So I made this project here. I'm going to go ahead and make a main. CPP and zoom that in for you guys and then include your IOS stream because we're going to use the console for some debug purposes later and int main return zero okay so uh, this is going to be actually what I'm going to rename this into SFML uh, examples so this is going to be our SFML tutorial thingy. Now what you want to do is, you have a regular main, but you can't make a window yet. So we're going to link it like we said. Go ahead and right click on your, uh, your solution and properties. Go to C++, General, Additional Include Directories. And this is where the magic happens. Or part of it at least. Uh, go ahead and go to E, where I put it in. There, and then press on Include. So you take your include folder from that downloaded file and just go ahead and uh, say that 
copy this actually because what we want is all configurations and just do this and then apply so yeah we want all configurations from the beginning I'm sorry about that so just do that from the start uh, all configurations go in here and select that stuff now all configurations uh, go ahead and go into linker general additional library directories go ahead and do this go to your file again go to your file again and uh, your lib folder just like that bam apply now in input you go into input put it onto debug go here edit in your additional dependencies and just I already should have done this actually I should have done this but sfml uh, system dot lib D we need the D because we're in debug uh, you're gonna copy that put it here. graphics uh, slash D you want to do um, audio D I think these are the ones audio window and network now let me just see if this is correct go into your file go into lib graphics network system window and audio yep so you go and just copy these network window audio graphic system okay that seems okay now do that and then go into release instead save those changes here paste that in and but just remove the dash and the D just like that BAM so now we've linked our project that's all you need to do okay and to test if everything works we're just gonna go ahead and copy this into our project just like that and then go ahead and run it now it's not gonna work the first time because we haven't included anything yet include SFML go ahead and do graphics and then include SFML uh, window dot HPP and then include SFML system dot HPP it's like that now why isn't this working oh whoops my bad my bad guys and girls it's late I'm tired let's just do this now let's start that off and it's gonna give us the error the first time this is normal and it said the the DLLs were missing so you just go ahead into the folder you opened go in a bin and copy all of these and then what you do is you go to whoops you go ahead and and go to show desktop or wherever you have your um, wherever you have your solution whoops why did I open that again that wasn't my meaning cancel whoops my bad and just go ahead and close that because I'm dumb go in SFML setup and wherever you have your CPP files and stuff just go in there and copy or paste all of that stuff and then you go back into your thing and you run it and here we go we have our window and a green circle inside it so I'm just gonna give you the bare minimum of what you need you don't need circle shape or anything to just run the window so this is your little window and this is the size of the window you can change this as you want this is the title and so on so on. we'll go through all of this later but yes that's how you link SFML and get started by making a window so I hope that helped go go ahead go in here and check all this stuff it's gonna teach you how to link all that stuff and I hope this helped you again and just take care and thanks for watching all the support and stuff and we'll keep going with this series and yeah I love you guys alright so good night and all that stuff work hard and I'll see you in the next video alright bye bye